because I don't know what recorded, so I'm going to stop this. Here's just an example of uh, uh, sending off the scraping off the oxidation. It's already I already did it, so that's done. I'm going to cut that down a little bit because it's too long. Um, but see that the wire is fine. You straighten it out. You, you can't do that too many times because uh, eventually it'll break. But once or twice is fine. You know you can't sit there and do it a hundred times because then you'll have a problem. So I'm going to shorten this up and put it in the bottom part of my um, my outlet on on the common side because that's where it's got to go on, and tighten it down with that uh, X clamp. Okay. All right. More 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 in a bit. Okay. As you can see, I put I put that back in there. Now what I'd like to do is I separate these out. I put like the top one on the outer one. I put the bottom one on the lower one to give as much space in between these two uh, fastener locations as possible. So it worked out a lot. You see it? I, I got the insulation just a little bit. That's okay. It's, it's not touching uh, the fastener. So that's fine. Next thing I should do, and I should do it the first time, is the ground. I'm going to do the same thing with the ground. Un unloop it. No, actually, no. This is a loop. So I can I can keep it looped. See, there's my ground port right there. So um, I'll, I will sand it, get some of the oxidation off, and, and continue on. All right, more in a bit. Okay, there you can see I um, sanded the oxidation off so it's nice and shiny. It's kind of hard to do inside the loop, but I did the best I could. I mean, it's going to be making contact all the way around, so I'll, I might try to do a little bit more. And then it's just going to go right there. You want to have it go in a clockwise fashion because uh, that's the way the screw is going to go. To tighten the rod down and more in a bit. Okay, real quick. See how I have my, my grounded uh, crimped? See that? How it's nice and the loop is closed? That's what you want to try to do. You know, if, you, if you're care about it. I, I don't know if it makes much of a difference in the scheme of things but I know that it's tightly on there and the screws tightly on you don't want to tight you can't tighten it down too much but you have to give it a good you know tight then a little bit of a oomph after that <laughs> right so okay so I'm gonna march on it's starting to rain out there um, and I have my my chair rail not too close to the garage but it's 17 feet so it's laying I don't want it to get wet so I'm gonna have to co close my garage here pretty soon but um, yeah, I'm going to just march on with the uh, the neutrals and then I'm going to, uh, I got a vacuum inside this box and I'm going to caulk around the edges and then let, let it sit and come back in a little bit when it's dry and finish her up. All right, more in a bit. 